guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for another YouTube video. And I think for probably, the hands are already going because I'm excited, um, a video that I've just, I've been itching to film for so long. I mean, you guys can see behind me, this is my blazer video. We're going to be talking all things blazers. We're going to be talking fits, cuts, best places to buy your blazer, how I would style them, oversized versus fitted, like... The list is endless, so make sure you have yourself a cup of tea, a glass of water, a snack, maybe maybe your lunch, maybe your dinner, because I think this is going to be a bit of a long one. Just because I do want to be really in-depth in this video, I do want to tell you guys everything I know about blazers, um, how to find the best ones for your body type, and the list is endless. I would love to hear your feedback on this video in the comment section below, so once you have finished watching, please, please leave me a comment and let me know if you like this style of video. It's a little bit different to, you know, a haul. It's more pieces I already own and how I wear them in my general life. So kind of interested to see what you guys think. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Georgia May. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel today. I'm gonna leave links below to my Instagram and my TikTok where I'm active pretty much. I try and be active quite regularly over there. I actually thought a dress for the occasion. I'm in a full on suit for you guys. This is from Zara. Um, I don't believe this is still available. I will try and link it if it is. It's one of my all time favorite suits. I will get onto that. We will talk about that. Um, but I hope you guys are ready. I mean, I'm gonna move the camera a bit just so you can see the blazer out. How satisfying is that? I'm finding it very satisfying. I do want to give a little bit of a shout out to today's sponsor, Captain and Son. They have kindly teamed up with me and I thought this was a really good inclusion actually in today's video. Because blazers I feel like, you know, are predominantly really for workwear or to elevate a look or to make you look just super put together. I felt like Captain and Son was a really nice brand to kind of, you know, integrate into this video, particularly for workwear. So they kindly sent me over this bag. I'm going to leave this exact one link below. This particular bag is called the Bergen Small Sandstone. I'm going to leave an exact link to this particular bag below. And I just thought this was so good for any of you guys that are working, maybe in the city, or need to carry your iPad or your laptop. This bag actually fits my laptop inside. Or if you're at school or university, I felt like it was just a really, really nice brand that I wanted to mention. I think their branding is super sleek and the colorway, like it matches with this outfit so so perfectly they do a variety of different bags um and they also do a lot of bags that i feel like would be amazing for if you're doing like overnight stays or sleepovers or things like that i mean for me i use a lot of bags when i'm shooting obviously in london and i need to take outfit changes but i just feel like this would be a really really nice work bag like if i was going to go and sit in a coffee shop which i do quite a lot and work i could put in here my ipad notepad headphones all of that good stuff it has all these separate compartments a front compartment a middle compartment and i just i think it just looks really really lovely so i did want to mention the brand i wanted to let you guys know about them i will leave all their links below i'll also show you guys how i actually style up the captain and sun bag with some of my blazers to kind of elevate the look and make them maybe more work appropriate. So yes, very excited to get into it. I'm not gonna try every single one of these blazers on because I think we'd be here till Christmas, but I'm gonna try on a few. I'm gonna talk to you guys about a lot and I'm excited, so let's get straight into it. So this is obviously the little trouser suit I currently have on and like I mentioned, this is from Zara. This is one of my favorite ways to wear blazers, but this does not mean that you have to wear them so sort of like smart and structured. There's hundreds of different ways you can wear a blazer. I'm gonna start out by talking about colors and then I'll come on to fits and fabrics. So when it comes to color, my blazer range is obviously quite a lot. Um, I have a load of colorful blazers, but I also have a lot of neutrals. I think if you are purchasing a couple of blazers for your wardrobe and you wanna know what to look for or go for, what do you generally wear? Are you a color person or are you a neutral person? For me, I am more of that neutral, like nudes, blacks, whites, that is my color palette. However, I do feel like you can have fun with a blazer and if the core of your outfit is quite neutral, sometimes it is nice to throw on a little bit of colour. One of my favourite blazers is this little cropped one from Collusion. Yeah, here we go. This is the cropped little blue blazer and I think it pairs really nicely with these kind of lemon trousers and would just be a really, really nice um, blazer to throw on. So you can obviously go for more of the boxy fit like I had on before or something like this that's a little bit cropped. I'm going to do my absolute best to link every single one of these blazers here and if I don't link this exact one I'm going to link a dupe. If you are currently thinking right where do I even begin? Where do I shop for blazers? There's a few stores that I really think are going to be crucial if you are a first time blazer buyer or you just want to know where to look for good ones. Number one best place to buy blazers has to be Zara. 
you know, I have to just keep it real. Zara is the best place to buy blazers. I think probably 60% of my blazer collection comes from Zara. They seem to release the similar sort of cuts and styles year on year. So if you buy one now, the likelihood that it's going to be released next winter is pretty high. So Zara's my top one. Next up, I have to be honest, and it's actually Motel. I love motel i think they're a really really nice option for blazers this is a motel blazer here um because a lot of their blazers they also do with matching trousers so if you want to get more of that trouser suit style and set check out motel i have this lovely sage green one i also have a baby blue with some matching trousers and I just think they always look really, really chic. I'm going on to a bit of a different brand and somewhere that I think is actually crucial for blazers if you want a blazer to wear on a night out. And that is because of Alice. So I only have two blazers from this brand, but I absolutely adore them. The price point is a little bit higher, um, but I really like the shape, the cut. They all come with this really nice belt, which allows you to really, really gather and cinch your waist. I think out of the two, their blazer dresses are something I would lean more towards. And I tend to go for a medium in all of their blazers, if you are wondering, as well as their trousers, because they also do some incredible trouser suits too. I have a couple of honourable mentions, as well as so many other blazers that I'm sure I'll get on. Um, to tell you about collusion i adore collusion this is from collusion and it has that really nice sort of oversized boyfriend fit the sleeves are extra long which i adore the cut is perfect and they definitely offer a blazer that's more of a masculine style so i have this one from them i also have this blazer that i've just never sold because I absolutely adore it. It is in this sort of like charcoal grey, um, but I wear it year on year. It makes an amazing blazer dress. It's one of those perfect blazers when you have nothing to wear. I always tend to like reach for this and it's just a really lovely oversized feel. I did have a gorgeous oh, chocolate brown collusion blazer that I ended up selling on Depop and I couldn't tell you why. I just did. So to replace that this year, I did end up buying a new one and this one is from Boohoo sized up in this so that's another trick for example i got this blazer in a uk 16 because i like an oversized feel especially in the winter with blazers so boohoo is a great place collusion on asos like i've said um i have one here from i saw it first this is another boohoo blazer that i hate mentioning on this channel because it seems like they've just not restocked it it's a gorgeous linen blazer and it went in the sale and i think it was like 20 quid one of my faves so i will keep checking the website but yeah shop around there are blazers everywhere but these are my favorite places to buy from um just if you're wondering fabrics of blazers um how many times am i going to say the word blazer really probably quite a lot moving into autumn winter i want to mention the idea of pleather leather vegan leather whatever you want to call it plastic um whatever you would rather you know kind of call it i absolutely adore a linen blazer this was probably my most worn summer blazer this gorgeous pink strawettes moment that they do in loads of incredible colors so again i will drop a link i also saw sarah ashcroft recently chop her strawettes blazer and make it cropped looks so cool i absolutely love it and it's a great little style tip if you are wanting to get a crop blazer. So I loved that for the summer, but unfortunately it definitely is a summer blazer. It lends itself to, you know, better weather. It's a lighter, looser fabric. It's more kind of just free flowing and not structured. For autumn winter, one of my favorite style of blazers has to be this faux leather trend. So I have two here, one in this neutral color and one in this black i also did have a brown faux leather one last year from pretty little thing that i will link below that i also sold i don't know why um i think i just obviously had too many i mean look so i ended up selling a couple but i love 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 a faux leather blazer and i think if you're going to do the rest of your outfit really simple so if i had on a black dress this would be an amazing blazer to style up for the evening it still has that oversized feel because that is like the shape i prefer on myself um i just think it always looks really cool it's kind of more of that sort of like scandinavian style that you see on pinterest that sort of slightly oversized longer looser fitting blazer you can always scrunch up the sleeves i adore this one this is zara and this is what i mean about zara just do blazers so 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 well this is a super similar one but again just in a different colorway absolutely love this from motel it's kind of an in-between of a coat and a blazer so it's sort of great for this transitional time when the weather's like not really cold but it's getting colder is if you're ever stuck with what to wear a blazer dress is 100 percent my fallback outfit every single time but this is really important i think going into autumn winter figuring out what sort of fabric you want to opt for 
Some other like incredible blazers that have a really, really nice fabric and feel to them are some of my probably more expensive ones. So I have this one here, it's actually my sister's from Mistress Rocks and it's sort of like a slightly thicker fabric. Definitely lends itself more to being an evening sort of blazer with the um, fabric buttons, I think. Obviously this is super individual and you know, like something that you might not even be that bothered about, but I just wanted to sort of note it in this video. If you're wondering what you should be buying now, going into more autumn time, I probably would now stay away from the linens and the looser, lighter fabrics and go more for something that's a little bit more structured, thicker, boxy, all of that for the winter, just personally. I've spoken about where to buy your blazers, I've spoken about the um, fabric and composition of your blazers, and now I wanna talk about how do I wear a blazer? Like, help me, I have no idea, I'm completely stuck. This is why I love them. I honestly think they go with everything. I am gonna put pictures and references and everything on the screen. I wear blazers with evening dresses. I wear them with jeans and a top. I wear them with a matching trouser suit set. Um, I wear them as a blazer dress, super boxy with like cycling shorts underneath and a little crop top. Uh, there is nothing that I think blazers do not go with. Uh, I think they sort of speak for themselves. And if you want to add something a little bit different, you can always belt them. So one of my favorite belts is a Nasty Gal chunky belt that I'll leave a link below. That if you want to make any boxy blazer into something for the evening, you can just add the belt and instantly it get, it's giving you more shape. My favorite way to wear them is jeans and a white top. I think it is just so simple. Some oversized, really nice fitting loose jeans and a white top is gonna pair so nicely with probably every single one of these blazers. If you wanna do something that's gonna kind of be a little bit more practical, honestly, just wearing a jogger set with a blazer is great chef's kiss so if you literally just have an oversized black hoodie or like cream hoodie whatever colorway you want to do put that on and then throw on like your oversized blazer that's slouchy slightly off the shoulder has a little bit of a loose shoulder pad i mean this one really does look vintage but it's not vintage blazers are another fave of mine if you can get hold of some good ones um or like even your dad's like is a great one but yeah i think throwing that over the top of a hoodie is really good just practically and also just kind of gives a really nice cool sort of like edgy feel to an outfit. Like I mentioned earlier, I think a lot of these blazers are gonna pair really nicely with this backpack. You can either wear it as like a top handle bag or a backpack, but I just think for work, this is like one of the most practical things and this is literally what I would probably head out the door in and school when I was at sixth form. So I have on these um, beigey colored trousers from Zara, little crop top from Zara, the collusion um, oversized blazer to add just like a different feel and something a little bit more cool. And then I've just paired it with this Captain and Son bag at the back or you can literally just wear it and hold it like this if you would rather kind of have it on you and not on your back if you're like on the tube or something but yeah i just think this is a really nice work bag that's going to go great with every single blazer i have here so yeah not only can you obviously do um, a blazer dress for the evening you could also 100 percent do a little cropped blazer jacket for the evening now a lot of these come in like matching sets so i have a fave of mine which is actually from opoly it's a white cropped blazer top with a white skirt and i love how that pairs together i wore that last year in mykonos but another kind of great way to wear color and just excite an outfit and add a little bit of shape with a blazer if you're not a fan of something so oversized if you do want to show off your waist is to do a cropped one so this is a really really nice fit i mean i could potentially sort of size up in something like this again this is zara i love the pink color and it's going to pair really nicely with if i just did like jeans and a white strappy heel such a nice evening outfit. I think it just looks really, really cool, super easy and chic. You can obviously do the button up if you want. Another favorite of mine, which is also in a cropped style, is White Fox. The black White Fox blazer. My sister also has the white version of this. This is the black one, so it's definitely more of that sort of evening, slightly shorter fit more of a slim fit, but I really like this. If you had some black high-waisted trousers, I think it would look really cool. Even if you had on a little strappy dress and you wanted something to throw over that still felt like evening wear, you could go for something like this. I think it is so, so nice. I just, what I like about them is you, you're not gonna look back on photos and think, oh, what was I wearing? A blazer will always look nice, I think, and it will always be chic and cool and a nice fit and a nice cut. Um, that I don't think you'll ever look back and be like, oh goodness, I really 
was not a fan of that outfit. One of my all-time favourite blazer dresses that I had to mention is definitely a little bit more expensive. And this is where, you know, blazers really can range and why I wanted to shout out Zara because I do just think Zara is the best place um, without breaking the bank. However, if you have a little bit of cash to splash, there are some gorgeous blazers out there. Um, Balenciaga obviously do an incredible one. Um, this one here is from Revolve and I absolutely love it. It's by a brand called NBD. The quality is incredible. So it just has has a really nice shape to it. Has a little button down here that you sort of click in and then it comes with a belt. You obviously wouldn't do like a top like this underneath. I will put a photo of me in this blazer so you guys can kind of get the full effect but it has more of a wide sleeve to it. Classic black blazer and a classic black blazer dress. I honestly just think will always look good. So that is probably where if you're going to spend a little bit more money I would recommend spending a little bit more because of alice blazer is just one of my faves i actually wore this this weekend what is so nice about these blazers if you are someone that maybe has a similar shape to me um so this is where you know it really depends on your shape and what you want to accentuate but if like me you quite like showing off your waist and that's an area that you like to kind of draw a bit of attention to look out for any blazers that have this belt detail so this is so flattering you can tie it at the front you can tie it at the back you know four times round, one time round, have a big bow. Um, it just gives your waist, you know, definition and shape, really nips you in. Loved it in the white. They do this again in loads of other colours on their website. You don't want to spend as much money on the Because of Alice blazer. I did actually grab this one recently to show you guys because they are very, very similar. This is a Boohoo version of the Because of Alice blazer. Love the colour. It's sort of like a nudie colour. It matches perfectly with this bag. It is like the same colour. This is lovely. I'm always looking at the mirror over there so I would probably scrunch the sleeves a little bit if you sized up a couple of sizes you could definitely make this into a blazer dress this is obviously my little tie so I can either do it at the front and then bring it round it really, really does bring in your shape and you could do something like this with a pair of black trousers you could do something like this with some cycling shorts underneath a pair of like denim jeans I just think how flattering does that look the way it really really nips you in at your waist so if you're looking for something more for the evening or if you're looking for something more to show off your shape i definitely would look out for these sort of belted blazers obviously i have some of my just fun ones that i think always look good on a night out add a little bit of excitement this is one of my most worn blazers um in the probably the shortest amount of time that i've had it this is from princess polly it's actually by a brand called lioness i got it in a large the cut the color the fabric i love it i love this vibrant blue i think it pairs really nicely with black so still we'll see you into the autumn winter again this one is a little bit more fun this is zara again it has a little bit more of that linen feel so i think unfortunately it is something that is more for the summer um just because of the fabric but i really really love this color and i love the vibrancy of it i do think this color and these sort of jewel tones will still be super trendy going into winter tones seem to be a big trend so i think if you are going to opt for color it might be nice to do something like this or more of like a royal blue so i've seen a lot of like deeper blues um currently in zara and also yellow tones and things like that for me i have to steer clear really of like yellow it just doesn't really complement my skin tone too much i can wear on like the lower half but close to my face it never looks great i opted instead for something like this which is the green zara blazer but like i said they do this really nice kind of royal blue that i think would be very very good and would pair lovely with black as well if you do want a bit of color i like to do when i'm doing kind of like a fun blazer color is match it with the matching shoes so a lot of these i actually have the matching colored shoes or blazer and your shoes sort of matching or if you wanted to to do a matching clutch bag or matching bag that would also look super cute i'm going to move on to styling blazers with shoes what shoes do i wear with a blazer i'm so confused sorry my phone keeps going off this is where i think you can have a lot of fun and this is where i do have a lot of fun when it comes to blazers particularly blazer dresses my favorite way to wear them would be with like a bare leg or um you know a little mini skirt i think a little like faux leather mini skirt a big oversized like boyfriend fit blazer and a knitted jumper for the winter and then i like to toughen up that look with a pair of boots so these are from zara these are last year's biker boots these are still super on trend for this year so i'm gonna link either these ones if they're still in stock or ones super super similar i absolutely love these they're kind of the prada dupes and they're just perfect to pair with a blazer they add like edge they make it look really cool i love how chunky they look on the foot um they're super flattering on the legs as well because they're so chunky they kind of make your legs look a little bit slimmer so i really like these and i love the added chunk on the bottom i think another amazing option if you don't want to go for those 
and you maybe want to spend a bit more money and have something that's going to have a little bit more longevity would be the Doc Martens that have that sort of platform in that's super, super chunky. They're a really, really cool boot that I would also style with blazers. Another pair of shoes that I think always look really nice and I tend to always opt for is a pair of chunky trainers. So here I have some Balenciaga Triple S's. Someone asked me like, you know, oh, I, I want to buy them, but are they still like the it shoe? Are they completely out of style now? Buy what you like. Like... I, I get what you're saying they're a lot of money if you think you're gonna hate them in a year but if you really like them who cares if they're not like as trendy anymore i have some balenciaga tracks that honestly guys i do not reach for anywhere near as i reach for these like i love these and wear these all the time my tracks i barely touch and they're more of like a trendy shoe so i just wear what i like what i really love about the balenciaga triple s's and how i think they look so so nice is with a trouser suit so for example with these trousers that i've got on now and the matching blazer that i had at the beginning with these trainers such an easy outfit super comfortable and i way prefer it to wearing jeans instantly looks really cool so definitely would recommend a chunky trainer with a with a blazer a pair of shoes i would definitely wear with a blazer are these super cool platforms so these are from nasty gal i adore these um i would also love them if they came in a slightly higher height but look at the platform on that i hope you guys can see they're just a very very cool shoe um i like that they're tight to the ankle here and they always look really really nice these would look amazing if you were going to do i think some skinny black faux leather trousers a boxy blazer and then these so cool like i absolutely love the idea of that these are a perfect shoe to kind of dress up a lot of blazers i feel for the evening classic pair of black boots always look great um these are steve madden's i love them i think that is something you should definitely invest in regardless if you're a blazer wearer or not a pair of black classic boots are like a must have for me and then lastly i have a pair of cowboy boots that i would definitely recommend wearing with a lot of blazers i think if you want to be bold if you want to like make a statement and just go for something fun why not do a cowboy boot these particular ones i believe are from white fox i know that i think new look have got some white ones in at the moment i think stradivarius had some beigey colored ones a lot more high street brands are now coming out with cowboy boots which i i'm so here for and i just love these i think they'd be great in the evening with even like a cardboard blazer set so a black blazer cropped and a little black skirt with these so so cool yeah that's kind of like shoes and how i would style up a lot of them on the lower half and this is pretty much it for my blazer video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i mean i'm really hoping that i sort of talk through most of what i could um like i mentioned you know there is a lot of color here if you want to maybe do color but not on a crazy scale you could always go for a muted color so this is the motel blazer that i was talking about or i have this one from h&m both of which are more of just like a muted color so they're not as frightening than some of these kind of really dark bold bright colors but if i'm being honest i think sticking to just neutrals is still a really nice option for me it's all about finding the blazer that fits you in a way that you love i know i love that oversized fit i always tend to size up in blazers i always will go for a large or an extra large because i prefer that sort of looser feel and it also means that i can layer things underneath it particularly for autumn winter and i can wear it as a blazer dress with cycling shorts so that's probably why i tend to size up but it depends what you like on your own body so if you prefer something like those cropped blazers that i showed halfway through the video or if you like something like me that is that looser more relaxed fit and feel i mentioned throughout the video thank you so much to captain and son for sponsoring it and also i feel like this workwear bag and like if i was at school i just feel like if i was at school or uni this would have been like a great bag because i still think it looks so so nice i like that it's super super um, minimalist i just think that looks really nice and chic and it's practical because you can actually fit things in here which i really appreciate and it would pair perfectly with a lot of these neutral kind of colored blazers that i have going on here so yes hopefully i've answered a lot of you guys' questions when it comes to blazers let me know what your thoughts are on this styling video if this is a series you want me to carry on what you loved maybe what you didn't love like i said i'm going to link everything that i can below for you guys so hopefully you can just click on the links and shop any discount codes will be that down there too Thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you're all doing very, very well and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.